How's everybody doing today? It's BVA Arts. I was a trick to learn. This actually is my very first video tutorial on YouTube, courtesy of my followers on Instagram asking me how I edit my pictures. Long story short, today's topic would be on cloud retouch. Basically, retouching or putting more detail in, in clouds and pictures that have low contrast or the exposure level is too high when the picture was taken. Example would be the one you're looking at right now. We'll turn that to something like this with more contrast and more detail and color in it. So let's get to it. First off, for new Photoshop users, um, what I used to do is, uh, still do, is duplicate the background. The reason why I do that is, so just in case I mess up this picture right here, this layer right here, I wouldn't have to click the history button and go back and fix stuff. I'll just have to just delete it and then I have a backup image. Okay, so with that duplicated, we go to image, adjust, and shadows and highlights. This brings out the shadows and the hi highlights, obviously. So just click on it, and the amount of shadow you need, you just bring down a little bit. But the tone, you want to bring the crank the tone width up a little bit, and the radius up. Try to match with it. And usually, I put it to 358, around 358, 300, 400 doesn't really matter but the crucial point right here is the highlights you want to crank up the highlights and that's what brings the more details in the cloud that highlights it out so with that done range around 57 53 you don't want to crank it all the way up because it looks ridiculous this is just right in the middle 50 it is good click OK with that done then again with with the backup I duplicate that layer again and then go to image adjust curves what that does is um, it pulls more I put more black kind of average black and white out so you make a little S right here just to put more black and then more white and push OK and on the Mac it's command E to uh, to layer uh, put this layers together like uh, yeah so command E Sorry, I'm a little nervous. It's my first video. Yes, so you can tell the difference now with those clouds right now and the original clouds. You can see a little more detail in it. But as you can tell, the effect I had on it, bringing out the shadows, brought out the shadows and highlights in her, her image too. So to fix that, the background layer, the original one, I duplicate that and then turn on the layer with the effect. So what this does is for new Photoshop users, what this does is think of like a two papers one laying on top of each other. If you cut the first layer, you see you can see through it and, and see the second one. That's kind of how layers work out. Probably thinking I know that you probably know that by now. But okay, either way, so what I do is I'm gonna erase her out the layer with the effect. So you can see her underneath it with no effect. If that makes sense. I hope it does. So, laptop is a little slow right now. Crank up and um, the brushes I'm using I'm using a uh, what's it call it? I'm using a Wacom tablet, so it makes it much smoother to move the mouse around. You can use a mouse. It just uh, to me, I mean, I know people that use mouse really good, but to me, I don't like. Moving the mouse around the Wacom tablet with the pen stylus is very very comfortable. Well, this is a tutorial, so I'm gonna go really fast. I don't have to make it all perfect. You zoom in and actually see what you're doing, where you're erasing. Uh, to see what you're doing, you could turn off this layer and turn off this layer, so you can see what exactly you're erasing, so you don't erase the clouds out. This is not gonna be perfect. Because I'm in a hurry here, not really, but it's tutorial. I'm in tutorial time here. Okay, this should be good enough. Then bring the layer beneath it and Command E again to join those layers together. So now, if you double check that, you can see the detailing in the clouds. So you're basically done. And uh, to make the picture look great, like the original one, <laughs> sorry, to uh, put more color in it, what I do is um, 
again duplicate so you do that you go to um, image adjustments vibrance and crank it up not all the way but just slightly you need to bring the saturation up just a little and there you go almost there as you can see right here there's a lot of green up here and you can't really see the black in it a little bit so again let me um, add these two layers together command E again and you can always go back and check see uh, your status or you know where you at so duplicate that layer again and this time go to same adjustments but go to levels and with levels you can if you see this tab right here there's a black tab right here and there's a white one what it does is the more you push the white to the left the more white you put in the picture which you don't want that I want blacks in the grass so I'm going to crank up the black right now and while you do this you focus on the on the grass don't worry about what happens in the top because you you just focus on the grass right now so just put as much black as you feel looks good to you push OK and with the same method we did with the girl you just drop the top layer down and then you erase the top layer just the grass so you can see the grass underneath it the one with the with more black in it so just like that I don't know if I can see that the difference I'm zooming in a little bit Usually I turn the layers off so I know what I'm erasing. So something like this. You know, you can spend time and go through the, each grass. And you can apply this um, this method with any picture that has clouds in it. Usually like a, a landscape scene. Stuff like that. So that puts more black in just the grass. And then again, Command E. And you can compare the pictures. And now you can tell you can tell the difference okay and that's basically it fixing and retouching the clouds just go in a little bit more go to the curves and then make a little S there you go voila well thank you guys for watching this video and you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at B V A A R T S Thank you. Have a great day.